And did you ever take a step back, like once you had a bunch of these scenes and start to structure it or start to put it in some sort of bigger context that would fit into a movie or a screenplay with a beginning, middle and end? I don't know that we did, actually. I think that really what we did was we, we just kept writing this story. And then we sort of, obviously, it was important for us that certain characters, you know, might blossom in a, in a particular way or, um, you know, that there might be some trajectory that this character felt that they needed to go on. But it was really just like we could, we could just tell when the story sort of felt like it was, it was complete and it was there. It was just, we just kept talking about it and kept writing it until it felt like, um, we had something that we really in love with. Yeah. And how long did this process take of just bouncing these scenes back and forth between you and um, David? Uh, it was like probably over over about nine months. We probably got together for about three or four two-week sessions where we'd work in a room together. Mm-hmm. And then we'd go off and I'd go back to England and he was in, living in New York. And we'd email each other and sort of think of things. But we'd, we'd really delay the writing until we got back in a room together. And then we'd... Um, Go at it again. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Selling Your Screenplay podcast. If you'd like to hear the full interview, just go to sellingyourscreenplay.com slash podcasts. Or to go directly to the episode, just use the link in the show notes. Thanks for watching.